All right, we're in all signs singles. Aquarius, who's coming towards you? Let's see, what qualities do they have? Woo, they're kind. You are humanitarian. This goes for you, too. You are humanitarian, made of love, and you are able to share that energy with others. Oh, I see what they're saying. They're saying here that you attract what you are also. Okay. Okay. Respect. You value everyone's unique perspective on the path to love. Forgiveness. You are now able to activate the power of love in order to release past hurts. Discernment. You are developing the skill to distinguish love from fear and truth from illusion. No matter what you see, the bigger picture of a loving, just universe. Elevation. You are making the conscious decision to raise your vibration of love. Now see, notice how elevation lined up with forgiveness. So that is, um, that forgiveness is helping you raise your energy. Okay, so let's see. Now it could be someone who, um, uh, was seeking forgiveness too. Okay, so I feel like that was the work for somebody. Okay. All right, so let's see. Kind of person is coming towards Aquarius. All right, let's see. Okay, so it's somebody that said they're you're better off apart. Sometimes if people may like each other, they work better as just friends. Some don't even work then. Reevaluate this connection and decide whether you're better together or separate. So it's someone that you broke up with a long time ago, but I feel like what it's saying is, were you sure about that? Okay, that's what I'm getting. Take your time. Savor the feeling you're in right now. Let every breath caress and kiss linger. Let the pressure, pressure, <laughs> the cork blue, <laughs> let the pleasure build up within you until you simply explode. Okay, I was ahead of time there. <laughs> okay. A warm embrace. Someone is craving closeness and intimacy. Show those important to you that you care with the right hug and some loving quality time okay so uh, tight hug and some loving quality time okay that's what it's calling for now over here what I picked up also was um, there could be some changes in career that's what I'm getting there okay so there could have been some disagreements there and um, I feel like with that it's saying uh, let's not let that get in the way of priority of love and uh, take your time uh, in your loving relationships and balance um, those things out. Let's see. Now, for some of you, this we're better apart uh, energy is coming from your polar opposite sign, Leo. Okay. And so that uh, could have been like a lot of thinking in your mind. Like, did I make the right choices there? Okay. Oh my goodness. Okay. Kiss me hard. It's obvious what they want from you. Someone wants you. Uh, I don't know if I could say that. Okay. Um, if you're ready, they're willing. Don't waste any more time to ponder this. They want you now. Okay. So I don't think I could say that. So unless I make this, uh, uh, and that's a lot of work to put, um, the rating and all that on there. Okay. All right. So Okay, so something hot is coming in. Okay, could be someone who is a mother. Selfless love, nurturer, source of life, maternal patience, comforter. Someone who's a mother and also a coach. They train or they, uh, they give support, okay, to you and uh, their work. That's what I feel, I see. That's what I see. 
Okay. Now it could be another air sign. This could be like um, a Libra energy, justice, right? That um, you thought you knew them, but you don't. It's like they there's a lot more hidden here. And it's like, um, well, we're in Aquarius, so it could be Aquarius or Libra. It could be any of the air signs or Gemini. It's like you thought you knew them, but there was stuff hidden, okay, and um, it's like that song, da, da, somebody I used to know, you know that song, it's like you were together, but then you're alone, and then it was somebody you used to love, or something, that song is coming up, okay, okay, and for some of you, they were drinking, Okay, for some of you, I don't know what side it's on, but drinking was a turnoff. And for some of you, that could have been pills I'm getting. All right. And, yeah, they were looking closely at you, and so they didn't feel like they could ground the connection together. Okay. And what is this martial arts card? Let me see. Let me get some tarot on that. What is this ninja reverse oh okay so if someone was a runner I feel like they want to come back okay now that's that Vietnamese hot stuff sriracha sriracha All right, so the one that got away in friendship or love over here, uh, they're, um, they're going to come back around for lunch. Here's a British flag. I don't know what that other one is. Okay, they're not the kind of person that sits around and watches movies. They don't watch any TV. That's a clue. They left one location and moved. They moved. And I feel like there, if there's not lunch, there is a potential for uh, having a cup of tea. Okay, so they could be British here for someone. Okay, let me get more on that ninja, though. I'm trying to figure out you know, something here. Okay. Uh, someone abundant look this now if this is you working on your career and things like that then it's like make sure you have a nice balance right to bring in the maximum I feel like you want to feel good too emotionally okay and that could birth into something yeah see don't neglect your health and uh, take care of your health and uh, take care of your health. Okay. And uh, so you feel good and feel like you have the energy to come together with somebody. Could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces.
Now, if it's someone who's been going back and forth and back and forth, this could be like an Aries or a Libra with um, heavy water placements. And that could be why you didn't come together. Okay, so that's a Libra. This is a Libra we're talking about, who kind of seems shady. And they're going back and forth, but they they deep deeply would like this union. But I think you're going to go solo is what it's telling me. Yep. You're going to go solo when it comes to that lever for someone. Okay. Yeah. Let's see. Uh, it could come back around. It could come back around. I think you guys are on two different levels though. That's what I'm getting here. On two different levels. Yeah. Okay, so it's someone right within your vicinity is what I'm getting. And when you get the impulses move, don't sit on it. Especially when it comes to like money things. Okay, so let's say you got uh, some sort of promise from someone, okay? Um, a rain check or something. Call them back on it. <laughs> okay, that's what I'm getting. Okay, yeah, call them back on it. Okay. All right, so... For some of you, you're strategizing so much that you're not um, offering your love. So, see, now that was coming up in two other readings. So, you, that could be you harnessing this Aries energy. So, if that's the case, in Taurus, I'm picking up. So, if that's the case, you want to um, take your love cup wherever you go. That's the success there. Okay. And, oh, I see what it is. That's the Pluto energy, uh, Pluto retrograde. So that's what it's saying. Now, that's what I'm say seeing. Okay, see, Queen of Pentacles and Queen of Cups. Okay, you want to move with your feminine divine energy, even if you're a man. And this is the compassion and kindness that you have to offer and the love, and that is magnetized to you. Okay, and for some of you, it's an earth sign, water sign. Okay, and you even might try and push them away. Now, if we're talking about career, okay, you might be defending your position. Okay, and um, you're moving in clarity during this Pluto retrograde. So trust what you pick up energetically. Yeah, trust what you pick up energetically and move on it. Now, someone had an ending of a cycle with an air sign. Uh, it may not be love related, it might be work related or f something with finances, family, okay, and you've been holding on if you've been having financial problems, okay, continue to pray and move, move, this energy, it's like it may not move, so you want to move, that's the key, okay. When you get the impulse, move. Now, there's a fine line finding that balance since Libra energy is coming up. You don't want to, you want to move in your mastery. And I feel like you don't want to move uh, 
spontaneous action is not necessarily it's like make swift action through wise choices because you have that two of swords make swift action through wise choices and then move and then i feel like you'll be moving in divine timing and in your mastery okay and um so for some of you this is like renewing vows if you're talking about someone who's here okay well this is a singles reading okay so um but this is also having the courage to try again even if you had some union before and it didn't work out okay it could be someone in religion or government okay but uh some of you might find relief through meditation to m actually make the moves okay all right and you know who you want this may be future you know who you want and you're going to move towards it this is taking the steps and moving in clarity and this card ace of swords is my winning card okay and so i feel like you're going to be winning in the love okay Woo! okay now for some of you if there is some sort of entanglement that was getting in the way of love that is because you all were past life soulmates okay and part of the um All right. Some of you question your bedroom performance. I feel like those fears are unfounded and it could have even been a source of heartache and pain for you. The key is consistency in finances career love everything you are supported yeah for some of you this is someone that you had an entanglement with and they want to return okay okay could be a fire sign but they're passionate for you that's what this is trying to say here all right and king of pentacles okay so if you've been worried about money money is going to work out look king of pentacles and ace of pentacles all right so oh i see what this is if you're tight okay so for some of you you don't want to spend a lot of money on dating <laughs> and if they <laughs> okay for someone you don't want to spend a lot of money on dating and if that's the case they could see um they don't like cheapskate whoever this is okay all right but um so if you're married to him and you happen to be here take him out a little bit somewhere do something have date night okay all right that's what i'm getting and this judgment could be like gabriel energy so you could have been through some tough energy here. Let me get one on that. Oh, five of swords reverse. Yep. Uh-huh. It is what it is. Woo! Okay. So, I feel like this is you. Oh, my God. Look what's on the bottom. We'll take that. Okay. Now, let's see. I feel like the sun transit was going through... Um, wasn't it going through cancer? Okay, I think it was going through cancer. So it could be a water sign here. Okay, that's interested. But if that's popping up, I feel like um, if you have cancer in your charts and you were kind of feeling down a little bit, it could mean that you will feel illumined, illuminated. Okay, and this is you in full alignment here, all gifted in the sun. Okay, I'll leave you with that. 